we went down the path of looking for jobs and getting out of travel nursing. What? Can someone set me free? Oh, what do you want? What do you want? It's chilly out here. I'm gonna put this on. The sunset looks like the mountains are on fire. I'm not even kidding. Look at this. That's just so wild looking. Welcome back to No Ordinary Path. I'm Kristen. This is Wendy behind me. She's what we travel in. She's a 37 foot travel trailer. My husband, John, is a travel nurse and we go all over the country with our three kids and our dog. So we have been hinting at some major changes happening in NOP for quite some time. I'm going to share with you some news that if you're an NOP, you already know this news. <laughs> but we love Arizona so much. Uh, the landscape is so different. I love that there's hills and valleys all over the place. And let me tell you, it's kind of like life. We are dealing with hills and valleys right now. As you guys know, if you are following with us, like we've been on the road for three years and we've shared that it's a little bit hard to get off of the road. But part of that is because we don't know if we want to get off the road. It's kind of like that scene in the notebook ladies you know what i'm talking about when he's like what do you want and she's like it's not that simple what it's do you want that's exactly how we feel and so right now what we're doing is trying our best to stay open-minded and walk through doors that god is opening for us and check everything out over the last several weeks we really thought we were going to make arizona our home <laughs> Dun dun dun! Is this starting to sound familiar? Remember that gut punched video up here in North Carolina? Yeah, we went down that path again, only this time instead of going back down the path of getting land. What are we thinking? We learned of a position that was opening up in Prescott, Arizona for a flight nurse. We applied and it took like three or four weeks to go through the process. And then we got a no because they hired from within the company and that's fine. We went to Sedona and while we were there, we took a side trip up through Jerome and over the pass. I don't remember the name of the pass, but it was really pretty. And we went over to Prescott and we went to Watson Lake, which was so cool. If you're in this area, you should go check it out, especially if you have kids who love to rock climb or climb on boulders. It was fantastic. Even the dog enjoyed it. We are struggle busing this morning because farms work time. Um, it's already 10 20. No one's eaten breakfast. We've been up for uh, two hours, but what, where did the time go? Summit here at Mingus Recreation. Mingus Recreation area. Yeah. Yes, and it looks like a really fun place to hang out and hike. There's snow up here. If we had our sleds and our snow gear, we might even check it out. I'm sure there's snowshoeing up here. Um, we are at like 6,500, yeah, something like that yeah, elevation. Right Pine trees, snow, beautiful. And now we're heading back down seven miles downhill onto the other side down into. Prescott Valley eventually. Prescott Valley is gonna where it's gonna be where it dumps us out at. Yeah. If you are going from Prescott Valley up to the Mingus Recreation Area with a trailer the size of Windy on 89A, I think that is probably fine. I would do that. I'd be comfortable with that. Uh, there's a couple little switchbacks, but nothing hairpin. From Mingus, which is basically the summit overpass, I would not go down through Jerome to try to get to like Sedona. That, you're gonna run into major problems. But if you're just going up there to camp or something like that and then back down to Prescott, you'd be fine. We are at Watson Lake. Oh 
my goodness. Yeah, she's like, I got this. You can do it, you can do it, you can do it. This is so fun. We all said this reminds us of, us of Skull Rock and Joshua Tree. It's the same kind of rock. So the kids are having so much fun hopping boulders. It's very otherworldly looking though. <laughs> like the whole lake is surrounded by these crazy boulders. Spotted something. You see these? These. Those are anchors for climbing. I bet that is a nice drop off right there. We're gonna make our way around and go check it out. Cause you know we're all about finding awesome climbing locations. Are you having fun? We took her leash off because it's actually more dangerous for her to have a leash on right now. Yeah, she does better she following will, us or yeah. finding her own path. No, no, I have to catch up to you. That's good. <laughs> and he's still going. Stop! <laughs> Fine, I guess I'm gonna have to run. Somebody's getting her steps in while we uh, while we go, but I I'm making it a little tough on her. <laughs> Are you doing this on purpose? <laughs> So Prescott fell through and we were kind of bummed about that and another opportunity came up in Bullhead City. Now we'd never been to Bullhead City. We have some friends that were staying in Quartzsite that we wanted to see and so we kind of took a little bit of a long way around. We went to Quartzsite, stayed there, hung out with them and then we went on to Bullhead City. And as soon as we got there, I just didn't feel right about staying there, like, like moving our family there. Uh, we really love mountains, we love trees, we love... Um, all kinds of outdoor activities and there are some but it's very very hot there in the summertime and i'm not sure i'm on board with that idea uh, so we looked at las vegas and the suburbs of las vegas and henderson because perhaps if he got that job he could commute from henderson and las vegas and so we went there we didn't get to sightsee at all people were like oh you're in vegas what are you guys doing and i'm like <laughs> We're driving around looking at like neighborhoods and, and we drove, we did drive the strip. Check it out. Whew. All ready to go. It's 1230. We're going on another side trip. We're heading over to Quartzsite to see some friends that we met and that we've been trying to meet up with ever since. So we're excited to go see them. And then we're going to head on to Bullhead City to check out that area and maybe even Vegas. It took us forever. We thought we'd be out of here an hour ago. So far into our time, it's 1230. Let's go. You, my friend, are a dirty, a dirty pooch. Are you ready to go? Are you ready to go? Look at that. Look how dirty you are. You know life's too short, so let's not waste another minute. Hit me 
the duct tape. Don't leave home without it. Okay, Eeyore, did you fix it? I fixed it this time. <laughs> it won't be long before it breaks again. <laughs> that's what's happening lately. <laughs> I even told I even told Justin I was like you know we don't know you never know what's gonna happen you know, in or out there's always something that happens. Well, there's a big semi coming. I'm gonna get off the road. All right, get off the road. You, you should get off the road too. Waste another minute. I'm gonna have to go down the strip, right? John's not super excited. But I wanna see it. I've never seen it, and my parents got married there. Hey, it's alright now. Listen, it's such a beautiful sound. Bullhead City is probably a wonderful place to visit, but it isn't a place that we want to stick around for a while. We need to be close to things that we love to go do. And mountains and snow and trees are not anywhere close to Bullhead City. So we nixed that one. We decided it was not for us. We did have fun. We actually got an offer there, but we decided to decline after a lot of thought and a lot of prayer. And now we're back on, we're back and we're wandering. We're wandering in the desert again, but that's okay because we know who's leading us and we'll figure it out. We're going to figure it out. We go up, we go down, we go up, we go down. And we're trying to pursue these opportunities that are out there and give them a chance and try to be open-minded. And we're going to talk more about that on Tuesday because we are experiencing something that we like to call the opportunity snowball. So join us on Tuesday because we, I can't wait to talk to you guys about that, but I digress. Back to Arizona and our life. We're going up and down, up and down, walking through all these doors, and there's a lot of them. I mean, our family and our NO peeps, they probably think we're crazy. We really thought Arizona was gonna be it. I don't know that it's gonna be it. Um, our contract ends in four weeks, and we don't know where we're going next. So tell us in the comments, where should we go? Because we're not stopping travel nursing. We actually really do enjoy this lifestyle. We just are looking for some place to semi-settle and be able to still weekender and still go on adventures um, and maybe even semi-settle and still travel nurse. We don't know, we're working on it. But that's what I think is the beauty of our channel. We're gonna be real. We're gonna share with you what we're doing. NO peeps, if you're in our NO peep club, we will keep you updated. We do have a few things in our hopper that we're excited to pursue and share with you. So if you're not an NO peep and you want to be one, it's super easy. It's $5 a month and you can join up here and you get into our secret Facebook group. You get monthly live feeds on what our updates are and all that stuff. So if you're wandering around right now, I want you to know that it's okay to wander for a while. It's okay to like open doors and pursue things. And even if you get an offer to not take it, if it doesn't feel right, don't take it. Don't take it just because it's something unordinary, right? And stay tuned on Tuesday because I really want to talk to you about the opportunity snowball. All right. Thank you guys for watching today. I hope that you have had a fabulous week and we'll see you out there. Can someone set me free?